So are any of you frightened of doing Facebook Lives? Because before I actually start this Facebook properly, uh, this Facebook Live properly, I just want to share with you, I just did one. And when I reviewed it, the screen was totally black. I don't know why. So I've adjusted a few things on my settings. But, you know, as they say, when you fall off the horse, get back on again. I'm going to take my glasses off because they're reflecting the, the daylight out there. Get back on your horse and start riding. Okay, so here I am. I'm back. Uh, and I want to share with you an amazing process I discovered today that helps you go deep within yourself in just a matter of a couple of hours. So and one of the things, uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'll just share very, very quickly. Um, I believe that uh, right now we've been given this time uh, to explore ourselves, to really go deep within. I mean, uh, who here feels a change in the air? You know, that there's a climate that's kind of thirsting for people to step, to step up. But you can only have the confidence to do that when you know who you are. Otherwise, you know, like so many of us, we suffer from this thing called imposter syndrome because we don't think that we've earned the right to be talking to other people, to be guiding them. Well, I can assure you, you absolutely have earned the right, but you're only going to be uh, absolutely convinced of that when you kind of know every inch of yourself, including all the dark corners. So that's where I help people go. But I'm an, a huge fan of anyone else who does that work as well. And today I had the great honour of uh, doing a session with a fellow by the name of Lewis Parsons, who runs groups called Soulscaper. And in this, he gets you to actually visualise uh, where you most come alive, where you're truly alive. And today we did it by going into the future, which is really interesting. So uh, for me, I, I come truly alive when I am helping people make breakthroughs. And I can see it in their eyes, you know, that insight. It's like, it's almost like they've dropped 10 years off their face. It's, it's an amazing thing. I love that. So I kind of felt, well, look, I'm here to help people fly. But here's what came up when I actually did this exercise to do a painting. Hopefully you can recognize what it is. I'm not an artist. I'm more of a word nerd. But anyway, this is a very literal painting, right? It's a very literal painting. Can you see that? There we go. Yeah, so in case you don't know what it is, I'll tell you, it's two hands holding an egg. So when I did this visualization, that's what came up for me. I felt this, uh, this beating heart within an egg, uh, but the beating heart couldn't get out. And I went, oh my God, this is, this is the insight that before someone can fly, they have, they have to actually hatch. But the thing that stops most people hatching is this shell, the shell that we build around ourselves of fear. You know, if you notice the contagion of fear that's out there at the moment, so many people huddled into their little shell, you know, not even daring to tap with their beak on that shell and try and break through. So I realized that that's actually why I'm here, not just to help people fly, that comes later, but firstly to hatch, to break out of that shell of your own making. It's a make-believe shell in a way, but we think while we're inside it, we think it's real. So that's what I do. Um, I'd love to promote Lewis's work. I think he does an amazing uh, job. So I'm going to post his details and I, I thoroughly recommend. If you want to feel that you've done something worthwhile with this time that we've been given, this is a really good place to start. Okay, and if you do it, please share your artwork um, on the Facebook page as well. I'd love to see it. Bye for now.